In this problem, we have some numerical expressions involving exponents, and we have to evaluate them using the properties of exponents. So let's go ahead and do this first one here. So 2 to the negative 3. So typically, when you're trying to work something like this out, you want to make sure your exponent is positive. So really, this is a number over 1. So what you can do is you can bring the 2 downstairs, and that'll leave you with a 1 upstairs and you can make the exponent positive. Whenever you move a number like this up and down, it changes the sign on the exponent. And then 2 cubed is just 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So this is equal to 1 over 8. Same thing here on this one. We have 3 to the negative 2. So the idea is to make the exponent positive. And again, you can think of this as a number over 1. So what we can do is we can bring it downstairs, and it becomes 1 over 3 squared, it becomes positive, and so now you get 1 over 9, and that would be the answer there. Here we have negative 10 to the negative 3. So this time when we move the 10 downstairs, we'll have a negative 1 upstairs. We can leave that up there, and we have 10 cubed. And so 10 cubed is a really big number, because 10 squared is 100, and then so 10 cubed is 10 times 10 times 10, so 10 times 100 is 1,000. So really, really big number there. And 10 to the negative 4 is even bigger, so this will be 1 over 10 to the 4. And there's actually a trick for 10s, by the way, I just remember this. Whenever you have 10 to a power like this, like 10 to the 4, you just write the 1, and then there's there's a 4 here, so it's just 1, 2, 3, 4. That's how, that's how many zeros you write. Really powerful. So if you had like 10 to the 5, it's a 1 and 5 zeros. 10 to the 6, it's a 1 and 6 zeros. And that would be the final answer.